Are you a parent that wants to get your kid into resistance training? Listen to this. Our next caller is Gonzalo from Alabama. Gonzalo, what's going on? How can we help you? Hey, hello, team. Uh, first of all, incredible uh, to actually meet the four of you. So, so thank you. Thank you so much um, uh, for taking uh, the time uh, for the question. So, um, real, uh, real quick, I'm hoping to uh, get some advice since the three of you are experts and your parents. So, hopefully, you can you can help me out here. So long story short, um, recently in the last couple of years, I transformed myself, lost 85 pounds, got in shape, nice. figured out some fitness stuff. Uh, I've been working with uh, uh, my wife and we have three children. Uh, my two boys uh, also, uh, they, they, become, they are athletic and they've become even more so after the transformation. So um, I'm very comfortable with uh, you know what to do with them. Uh, and so forth. They're they're a little bit older. Uh, my wife recently just got match resistance for her. She's joining the bandwagon. So we're basically a uh, we're turning yes. into a mind pump family. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But my daughter, who is eleven, has been asking how can she get in better shape? How can she uh, like me when I was younger? Uh, she has a bit of a she's starting to uh, develop perhaps a little bit of a. a, a weight issue she's concerned she wants to improve her health let's put it there uh and she's a cheerleader so um from what i've learned from you guys of course nutrition um that is is pretty clear it seems to me like the advice holds even for an 11 year old you know water whole foods etc sleep rest but how do you is resistance training something an 11 year old girl should do and if so what does that look like and that's where i wanted to uh uh to get your advice yeah i think we should start with um one i would i would i would definitely make sure that i help shift her mindset to being strong right like i what i don't want to do with her is i don't want to make it about um anything to do with her weight even if you believe that we, we need to bring her weight down a little bit, like I don't want to, I mean, make sure we don't communicate that and it's around her being strong and healthy and a strong woman and empowering her like that. Um, I definitely would want to say that, but there's a lot of, I mean, uh, MAPS Anywhere, MAPS Suspension, uh, MAPS Starter, Starter, all three great programs um, that she could potentially do. I also... Um, I also would look for things. I think about this stuff as a dad now, right? Like I know that there's potential that I could be in a very similar situation. And what if my son isn't really into lifting weights or exercising? Like I'd also find ways to just to be active with her and to have fun. You know, does, does she like to swim? Does she like to ride her bike? Like, um, and now that you've, you've made this, you know, transition into a much healthier lifestyle is finding ways to just, uh, have fun with activity and keeping her moving, um, more so than really trying to force her into like a, a, a weightlifting routine if she's not really into it. Now, if she's really into it, like if you teach her one of those three programs and she's all about it, then by all means, have fun with it and, 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 and train her on those routines. Um, but I, I think I would be more about just being active with her and doing stuff. That would be the way I would inter introduce her into like fitness that that's my opinion. Yeah, I really like map suspension only because um, you know the, the the main things initially with you know kids that age and what I experienced too with my son who's eleven is just body control, body awareness, and strength stability. So uh, you know, in terms of like you know adding resistance with with dumbbells or you know add it, like I think that that's great, but I think a good first start starting step would be, you know, body weight training. And, and with the suspension, it just really helps to kind of um, guide that in a very succinct way. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's it's something that's not not too much in, ter in terms of like overwhelming her with exercises and things um, that might be not that familiar. It kind of simplifies the whole process a bit. And so I, I just like to kind of start there and see, you know, like what kind of response you get and just to try and as much as you can to have fun with her in that process. Yeah. Yeah, Gonzalo, resistance training is appropriate for, for anybody. It's just how it's applied. Okay. Right. It's really about how it's being applied. So if you got a real young kid, 
Resistance mm-hmm. training looks like gymnastics. It looks like body weight, yep. you know, exercises or even games. Yeah, play. As they get older, it could be more like traditional resistance training. The things mm-hmm. to focus on with your 11-year-old are stability and balance, right? So if she can, if she can push, let's say she could lift a five-pound dumbbell above yeah. her head, um, mm-hmm. but you notice at the top, and it's very common for a kid, they'll lift something, they have the strength to lift, but they don't have the stability, and you'll see it kind of wobble and move right. all over the place. Go, go way lighter. You want to go way lighter and focus more on can they do this without wobbling and without being unstable. But other than that, all exercises, so long as they're applied appropriately, are fine. They're not only fine, but she'll benefit uh, tremendously from them. And I want to go back to what Adam said. I would focus entirely on performance. How many reps you did? How strong do you feel? How's your energy? I would not focus on anything that has to do with appearance, especially for an 11-year-old girl, because she's going right. to gonna get to the age where she's going to become more self-conscious anyway. And if the focus is placed on appearance, then there's a higher chance that there could be like a dysfunctional relationship with, with exercise and that. But it sounds like you're doing a great job. You've already led by example. Right. It sounds like the whole family is following along. So I, I'll tell you what, you know, this is great. And this, I, you know, I wish my kids let me do this. Um, I tried doing this, so it doesn't always work. But if your kids are into it, mm-hmm. a family workout day, man, what a dream. Like everybody goes out in the garage and we all have a good time. We play music and we do exercises. And, you know, it's not really about you training yourself too hard, but it's more about everybody enjoying themselves and creating a good environment. Um, but, you know, resistance training for 11-year-old, two days a week is plenty. Really, two days a week is is plenty so long as she's active otherwise. Pushing a sled would be cool too yeah. if you had access to something. Sleds or kids love that. Love, love Do you it. have um, MAP suspension? I know Justin was talking about that. I think that's a good yeah. a good program. Do you we, have that? We, uh, uh, we do not. Our, our first product, product is uh, MAPS Resistance uh, for the wife. So we do not. Um, so yeah, the, yeah. That would be that would be great. Yeah, that we'll would send, be great. Mike. We'll send that over to you, so you'll have access to that. And uh, then all you need to do is get suspension trainers. You can get them relatively inexpensive. I know you can go on our site, and we sell them for a pretty good price. I think it's at mindpumpstore.com, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Um, but yeah, we'll give you the program for free, and and then let us know what happens. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you were talking about the family. Uh, what is the family workout day? Yeah. So my middle son is a competitive rock climber. Oh, wow. So so we do have access. We usually all go to the gym, and that is one activity that she does enjoy. Also, that's awesome. there you go. That's, perfect. That's perfect. That's yeah, it right there. Yeah, she'll do well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, yeah and, oh goodness. Well, thank you so much for the advice. No problem. Thank you. All right. Great show, guys. Keep it going. Thank you. Amazing thank you. content. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the whole thing with kids is what a great uh, story, you know. It is, and you know what's funny with kids? It's like uh, when you when you talk to people that they, that are like experts in what do they call it? Child led learning. Mm. When you have you see this as a parent, when your child is into something, they will learn everything about it. They'll become obsessed. They'll just eagerly eagerly learn and absorb information. When they're not into something, you try to it's force like pulling it. Teeth. Yeah, actually, it's yeah. worse. And that's so, why. I, that's why I was kind of alluding to yeah. that, right? Like, find out if she likes to bike. Does she like to swim? Yeah. Does she? Is she into gymnastics? Like, you yeah. find something that she's physically into already, mm-hmm. and just have fun with it. Yep. Keep her active and, and, and encourage it and incorporate it into your guys's training days. Versus, like, because I do get questions like this a lot. Like, you know, what should I train my kid on? It's like, well. If you have an 11 year old that is like wanting to lift weights, well, that's exciting, you know. Like, but I know it's rare. Yeah, it was very rare. Like, most kids are not into it the same way. And instead of trying to force it and make them train that way, it's find ways to 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 keep them active and to play and enjoy just movement. Yeah. I think that's the the play at that age. And he's already doing the most important thing. He's leading by example. Yeah, that's that's the biggest and thing. That, and the whole family that's right. It. And and there's gonna come a day where she's gonna remember that that my dad was had all this weight and got down to this weight and he's healthier and he's he's more fun to be around. She's gonna connect those dots and there's a very good chance that she'll come to him when she wants to do resistance training and do those things. For now, yeah. I'm just... But it, it, is, ex- it is rare for a kid to want to do resistance training. Very rare. Yeah, yeah. I'd say the, if the average age of a kid 
getting into it is late teens, mm-hmm. early twenties. You know, yeah. when they're when they really are like want to change how they look. And otherwise, a little more self conscious. Yeah, yeah, I've trained a lot of kids. It's boring for kids. Like yeah. reps. What the hell am I? You know, I'd rather go. Let me go throw something or do right. something more. That's why the sled's kind of cool, right? Like kids love the sled. Like yeah, I would totally yeah. take a sled out and you know challenge how far we could push it, and make a game out of yeah. it. Yeah, or medicine ball stuff is always great. Yeah, can you throw this. Yeah, can yeah. You lift this. I'm all about climbing. Any kind of thing they can climb on. You can like the trampolines, amazing. So yeah. there's lots of options there. It just makes it more of a fun environment. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.